Is that commercial real? Hollywood, man. It's Hollywood. <laughs> if Rambo Part 20 can be a one-man militia, I can jump over Aston Martin. Ronnie seems more excited than you. It's an unbelievable thing to see. <laughs> I got you. What's your routine on game day? Um, you know, it, it varies. You know, I have certain things that stay consistent in terms of my pregame meal. Um, you know, if I'm tired, I'll take a nap. If I'm not, I'll just play around with my kids. And, um, you know, but the, the ritual that stays the same is my pregame meal and, you know, reading the scout report. What's your favorite game with the kids these days? You know, actually, we just, I just chase them. You know, we play a game called the Tickle Man where I become the Tickle Man. And, uh, and I chase them over the house, and when I get them, I tickle them. Going back to the, the previous question, was that like an sort of an unintended consequence like things work out the, the right way just, things just work out it wasn't something i was thinking about obviously i think um you know but you you have to speak your piece you know if i'm going to be blamed for the losses that's fine you know but you know if i'm gonna go to war i want to make sure i got the necessary bullets you know to fight in this battle you know and then you know, the heat that i'll take i'll but i'll be more than willing to accept it talked about how you probably would go by doing it again you might handle it differently but the result is at least along the lines of what you were looking yeah, for. Yeah no I mean you look we're in, we're in a great position we have great talent our young players developed tremendously uh, pulled off a kind of the coup de grace we're getting piled and uh, you know Trevor was a big piece as well so you know things were done. Can you talk about the uh, I, other than being able to curse in different languages which is what you said the other day uh, <laughs> I know you are uh, the benefits of, of, of playing with such a wide diverse international squad. No, I mean, it's such a great bunch. You know, we, we have such a great crew of guys that are from different areas. And, you know, it's always fun to kind of talk a little bit about where they're from and just learning different, you know, just different things, different catchphrases, different curse words. And it's just, it's fun. It's just boys being boys. Guys, last question. You've, uh, go ahead. No, go for it. You've um, put a lot of pressure on the ball. You know, it seems like in last games, trying to get more pressure on the ball, trapping people more often. How do you do that with Chris Ball, who can feed off a double so quickly as soon as it starts to come up? Well, you have to pick your spots. You have to be smart about it, obviously. I, you know, Chris is, is a phenomenal player, and, and I think um, you know, him being able to get penetration and use screen rolls is obviously our greatest concern. Um, but offensively, you know, David West is the biggest problem because he's the guy that's going to put points on the board, him and Pager. And you know, Chris is going to get in and facilitate for them. Uh, and, you know, we have to do a really good job on those guys.